everyone, today we are making an omogami piano. And guess what? I lost my first tooth. I had to climb up from the table. So, you need some omogami paper and you need a black marker. And if you don't have omogami paper, you can just use regular paper and cut it into a square. So now let's start. So let's start with a white piece of paper and let's fold it in half. And then you have to fold it again from the other side here. And then you can unfold this part and see this like line you can take you can turn it around to here then take this edge then fold it to the line and crease it with your hand and then let's do the same thing on the other side And then this is the tricky part. So move it like up here or like, and then you put your finger inside here and you have to get it all, your finger all the way to the top. And then when you did that, you need to make sure this blue line is where the white line is. And then you can crease it here and here. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. So unfold it and then put your finger to the top. And then put it where the white line is and then crease it. And it kind of looks like a house. And now we are almost done. So this line, you should have this. And then you should fold it up here. We are gonna fold it three times. So I'll do then another time and another one. And then we are almost done. We are gonna fold this. in half here. It's supposed to look like this. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. And then, and this is the most fun part. So you stand it up like this and then you get the keyboard down and then it's standing and now we need to draw the notes so maybe how we can draw the notes is we can get this down one and then we can put it like this okay and now we need our marker and we have to only use the skinny side of the marker and so First, we need to draw lines across the piano. Upward, like that. I'm done with mine. So, then, on top of these black notes, we need to draw little like squares, like maybe a tiny bit more. And then after you draw it, we need to color it in. Now we need to do another one. And there are three in a row, then skip a line, and then two, and then 
skip a line, flee. That's how we are gonna do it. So now it's two rectangles. It's okay if they are touching. And then skip a line, flee. Then skip a line too. And then we can just leave that one blank and then we are done with our panel. Except we need to do one more thing. Come this like this, fold it again here, and then we need to fold this back in our fold and then stand up. Then put the keyboard down. And then we have our own piano. I hope you have fun. And look, I'm pretending to play my own piano. <laughs> it works. It actually doesn't because I was just making that with my mouth. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. And now we finished our piano. Thanks for watching. Bye. And when you are always done making the origami piano, you can always play the piano.